Bonjour. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Les Villages Nature Paris, which is a resort in Paris. And Greg and I are here for a long weekend for a bit of a holiday. We just thought we'd bring you along with us. But first, petit déjeuner. Breakfast. <laughs> Right now we're just walking around the lake that's in the uh, the centre of the park and there are loads of lovely restaurants and shops here. And we are heading to the boulangère, the pâtisserie, the bakery, because when in France, am I right? Someone's excited, look at this face. Mm. What are you gonna have? All the pastries. Yeah. We got... De croissant and a massive, a grand piece of quiche. <laughs> mm. Good. Mm. Croissant, cheers. This resort has five different worlds and the one here that we're going to now is Ferme Belle Vie. And they have all sorts of activities going on all day. Um, but the great thing about them is that they're all designed to encourage you to get out in nature, or to get thinking about sustainability in the environment. So we have signed up to our first activity. <laughs> We're gonna be doing some vertical wall gardening at the farm. Sure. And it's stunning. Getting our green fingers on. Look at this, it's like a ranch. Oh, it's lovely. Wow. We're inside the farm. We're just getting get our bearings. Um, sorry? Get in the sun. Get in the sun. Get in the sun. Ah. So we've got a chocolate workshop going on over here. Behind us there is a honey workshop. We've seen that you can do beekeeping, uh, which is awesome. And behind us, meats and cheeses in a market. So we're trying to find a greenhouse. <gasps> bees. We've got honeybees everywhere. Um, in front of you there, we've got some white-tailed bumblebees. Maddie the bee spotter. Honeybees, honeybees, honeybees. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. So many bees. So this is a tail vane um, and it's operated by wind and as that turns it's designed to pump loads of water from the lakes which will then irrigate water all of the gardens. Wind is one of the oldest sources of energy. We could power a lot in our house with your wind. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've got a fact for you. The first ever greenhouses were designed for the Roman Emperor Tiberius because he wanted a cucumber every day. But they didn't use glass, they used um, like see-through stone, like mica. We've been planting. Look at this. Is that heavy? It's really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and we've just made a strawberry planter. This is just a really simple vertical wall garden that you could make at home, no matter what space you've got, really. We're going to make a whole separate video yes. of how you make one of these. Yeah. Um, so check that out at the end of this vlog. Yes. Uh, if you want to try to make your Yeah, own. I'll pop a little card up here. Wowee. That is an absolute scorcher today. <laughs> so these are just like what we just made with the pallet. Mm. Um, just a bit more kind of hard wearing, I guess. It's a bit sturdier. But each one stacked on top of the other one. Love it. Much better than a wall. We are making our way over to the swimming pool, but first we're going to go and explore the Jardin Extraordinaire, the Extraordinary Gardens. And there are four, and each one is themed after the elements. So we've Earth, got air, fire, water. Which one are we in now? Earth. Earth, okay. This is Earth. Hello. We're lost inside the animal maze, but it's really sweet. There's all these little post boxes around with animals hiding inside. I've got one. The clue is, if you touch me, I feel prickly. In French, it's le hérisson. Oh, the little hedgehog. Should say they're made of plastic. Just found something pretty cool on the floor. Oh, wow, look at this. We've just come into the fire garden, which is the next one. There are plants everywhere. It's absolutely gorgeous, and we're excited by the planetary system on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so Classic cool. Maddie and Greg. Hey, it's us. Onwards through the fire garden. Maddie moving in for the close up for Instagram. It does look like fire though, doesn't it? Yeah, for sure. All of the colours of the petals. It's gorgeous. Now we're in the air garden, and instantly all of the flora and fauna is much daintier and lighter. Well, these have actually evolved to be caught by the wind. <laughs> How great is this? Yeah, it's awesome. So, as is the air garden, and these mirrors are blown by the air and then they spin round and then like the reflections go in all directions. I can see so many of you right now. Hello. <laughs> Hi. 
camera died, so we've moved over to my phone for the last garden, which is, of Ooh. course, water. Oh, wow. Geezer. Or fountain, we should probably say. It's not actual geothermal things going on here. Although we are on top of actual geothermal. True, land, true. Right, because they get a lot of their heat from that. Yeah. Because it's so hot. How much right now do you want to stick your head under that? I'm so ready for a swim. Oh <laughs> Cannot wait for that pool. It's time to get out of the sun and go for a bit of a dip in the Aqua Lagon. everyone uh, another morning another breakfast of cakes oh, yeah. <laughs> now we are going to uh, do some farming I think we're off to officially meet all of the animals which I'm really excited about so we're on our farm tour first stop <laughs> Les Vaches the cows yeah just uh, mum cows and calves in here yes no balls Hey look, man. <laughs> hey look. Hey. Hey look. Hey. And that is why they have four stomachs. Why is that? Because they can't digest the hay ah. in the first stomach. Oh. So it goes in the first one, quite often it bombs back up a little bit, Ooh. and then it goes back into the stomach, and then the next stomach, and the next stomach. So they have four stomachs. <laughs> Hiya. It's amazing when you like look in their eyes. Do you feel like a horse is <laughs> Look how small and cute this one is. Hiya. They are so sweet. Oh my goodness me. Go on, kick the ball. <laughs> my carrot. <laughs> pig in French is cochon, by the way. Because I remember my guinea pig was a cochon dand. Oh. He's a cochon. This vlog is like French with Greg. It is. <laughs> Going in to get some eggs. Over here, there's an egg that's a totally different colour. Oh, it's like a greeny blue. It's a slightly greeny blue colour, isn't it? We're just taking my eggs. <laughs> Have you seen the ones that look like they're wearing like yeah, big, yeah. fluffy, long yeah. trousers? This is the one that makes the funny coloured eggs. Hey, buddy. It was excellent. <laughs> We're not cracking that yolk. <laughs> yolk. <laughs> Going to be the rabbits. Rabbit on French. Lapin. Lapin. There they are. Your restaurant's doing well today, Maddie. It does. Oh. oh, they're really lovely, aren't they? I've got my farmer apprentice diploma. Congratulations, Greg. If anyone wants me to look after a farm for them. Should we frame it? I'm now fully, yeah. <laughs> well, that was absolutely that was lovely. lovely, wasn't it? it that really was a lot was. of fun. Um, so now we're going to leave the farm and we're going to head over to the bridge to the forest of legends. Oh, it's so quiet. Have you seen at the entrance? Yeah, it looks epic. There's so much that you can do in this forest, but we're just going to have a really good old explore. There's a tower village in the okay. middle of the forest and there's a nest village in the middle of the forest. Amazing. He's already off. Greg, yeah. are you stuck? No, just a little bit tight. <laughs> yeah. I love anything in a tree. Whoa, look at this play area. So it says age three to five years old and older under adult supervision. We're adults, we count. Will you supervise me? Yeah, I'm supervising you. Great right, then. Going up. Right at the top. Head down again. <laughs> this is honestly one of the best playgrounds I've ever been to. 
The one we're in now is Nest World. And this it's, is Nest World. And it's brilliant because everything is designed to look like nests in the trees. It's fantastic. And you know what? It's nice because it's in the forest. It's nice and cool. <sighs> one of the other activities they do in the forest is den building. We can see the remnants of some of the kids' dens from yesterday. They're really good. They're decorated. <laughs> yeah, You're never too old to make a den. <laughs> How great are they? It's awesome, isn't it? I mean, that's a four out of five star on Airbnb, that is. <laughs> It's time for our chocolate workshop. All right, first step to making chocolate is that we are going to fill up the bowl with pre-molten chocolate. The temptation to put your head underneath this machine is, it's overwhelming. So this is, um, keep it warm, so there's a heater at the bottom. You take a big dollop, yep. and it goes at the top. Very good. <laughs> no pressure, Manny. I know, you, you did that pretty smooth. Gone. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's a big drip. We've got drips. Right now, press this. Yeah. So you have to shake it, and what the shaking does is any bubbles of air that are inside the chocolate rise to the top, and we will see that very soon. And then you will be getting into my belly. Now we're going to try to get the chocolate out. Oh, good job. One. Two, three, ta-da! Yay! Tasting good? Mm. That's really delicious. We have climbed all the way up to the top of the Aquilagon for the view, but also to say that's it from us. Thank you for joining us on our little holiday. Hope yeah. you enjoyed it. Oh man, I've enjoyed it. Um, anything when we get to go away and get out in nature and yeah. learn some new stuff perfect for us. Yeah, right up our street. Um, subscribe for more videos and stay, stay curious. curious. Bye. See ya.